All right, thanks, Jen. And uh, we're looking at the latest uh, satellite on Florence, and there's the eye, the center, uh, located about 575 miles to the southeast of Cape Fear, North Carolina. So it's far from here, but it is moving closer to the United States. And that eye, very present. Now, with that, it means it's a strong hurricane. It means also that you've got winds over 120 miles an hour. It's 130 miles an hour right now. It's a major hurricane. So it's a Category 4. Moving west-northwest, it's 17 miles an hour. The speed, how fast it moves, has picked up, and it's moving towards the North Carolina coast. Now, the latest track has it moving towards Wilmington, North Carolina, and then maybe bending to the left a little bit. As that happens, it may skirt the coast. Very bad scenario because then it wouldn't weaken right away and cause more damage down to possibly South Carolina before really coming in and weakening. Now, notice, we are not in the possible path anymore. We've got a better scenario, but we're not completely out of the woods because some of that wind is going to move north of the hurricane and some of the rain is going to move far north of the hurricane in the Hampton Roads. That could be our biggest problem, the heavy rain from this. Now, let's take a look. The latest computer models are in agreement that it's moving in that direction. There's still a couple, though, which do try and have it go north after moving inland a little here. So there's some, a little bit of uncertainty around the time of landfall. But overall, the trend is there. Then it moves towards the coast, maybe meanders a bit, and then moves west of us. Now, this gives you a little better sense of the winds from this. And so, I mean, this is the size of the storm. Uh, this is the European and the GFS model, and they're both in good agreement up through 11 p.m. Thursday. So that's good. They finally come into better agreement. And so let's go through time. Here's Friday. Friday 1030. The GFS model still has a lot of wind for us going on for Friday evening. Uh, not as much for the European model. And then we get into your Saturday. Both of these start trending down to the southwest away from us. I got a feeling by the time we hit Saturday evening, Sunday morning, we're going to have improving weather here. Maybe still a little breezy down towards the Outer Banks, but I think our winds will improve by Sunday in Hampton Roads. This shows you the rain. This is future track long term. That rain will spread north in the form of rain bands Thursday late. And then the more constant rain that's going to develop down here across uh, the southern outer banks in North Carolina, that will try and move northward as we go into Friday. So Friday, Hampton Roads will see a steady rain. Flooding rains possible North Carolina. This is where we're concerned. This is where we could see maybe up to 10 inches of rain in some places. So that is going to be our biggest concern out of this, I think, going forward. Now let's track the wind, though. Let me show you. Today, the wind won't be too bad. East, northeast, 5 to 10, 10 to 15 near the shore. Tomorrow, the winds start picking up. Northeasterly winds, we're talking about uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Gust higher, maybe 25. Maybe down across the Outer Banks late in the day, maybe at night, we could be talking about some gusts 45, or pardon me, uh, maybe around 70 miles an hour across the southern Outer Banks. So we go into Friday, and the winds are still strong in the morning, but by the time we hit the evening, the winds hopefully will already start dying down. Now, here's some of the effects. Three to five inches of rain in southeast Virginia, lesser amounts north of Hampton Roads, probably closer to two to three inches. But North Carolina, we could see five to ten inches of rain, and west of Hatteras or near Hatteras, about ten inches or more. Uh, that will cause flooding. Now, the gusts, the wind gusts, will be up to 45 miles an hour in Hampton Roads. That's not too bad, but it still could cause some damage. But we could get a few gusts to 70 miles an hour or around that down across the Outer Banks and maybe across the Albemarle Sound. The tide doesn't look that bad. We've got a better scenario with the current track, five and a half to six feet in Hampton Roads. That's Sewell's Point. But around the southern Outer Banks and the western Albemarle Sound, we could see some very high tide coming in there, some major tidal flooding, especially around Bertie County, southern Shawan County. The water may really stack up in those areas on the south end. So we'll be getting more details on that as we go along. The timing, Thursday, a few rain bands coming in, squally, breezy weather. Thursday night, the rain will be increasing. The winds increase Thursday night, too. Friday, we'll get a steadier rain. Wind might be decreasing late, but that moderate tidal flooding will happen. That will probably happen Thursday night as well. Now, for rain at the moment, one stray shower in here, southern uh, Perquimans County. Then you've had a lot of rain around the Middle Peninsula and the Peninsula recently. A lot of that's tapering off now around Saluda and around Tangier Island. There's a few showers, but not too much on the eastern shore. Now, the showers that are around this morning should taper off. We'll have isolated showers this afternoon, not all that much, partly cloudy skies. Overnight, clouds increase. We get a few showers coming in, and then tomorrow, here come some of those rain bands on occasion. They'll bring in some squally weather. Uh, rain picks up for a little while, goes away, and the winds briefly increase as well. That'll happen tomorrow. High temperatures today, mid to upper 80s, partly cloudy, a few scattered showers. Whatever you need to get done today, you've got time to do it. Tomorrow, 82 degrees. We've got uh, some scattered showers. The rain picks up more steady on Friday.